Second World War Diary. Wednesday, January 1st, 1941. The opening day of the new year passes quietly in Britain, but there is increased activity on the part of the Allied armies in North Africa. With air and naval artillery support, British and Australian troops launch an attack against Italian-held Bardia. On the border between Sudan and Kenya, skirmishes continue between patrols. In London, British government propaganda aimed at counteracting that of Goebbels highlights the successes in Africa. While these auspicious events the attack also was made on all British radio stations broadcast news with detailed descriptions of the disaster facing Italian forces in the region, highlighting the number of prisoners taken and presenting the situation as the beginning of the end for Hitler's ally. In Berlin, the Führer meets Heinrich Himmler to establish different categories for concentration and death camps. British planes continue to carry out raids against Northern Europe, bombing military targets in Germany and the Netherlands. In Vichy, France, Marshal Pétain makes a speech calling on all French people to work together for the good of the nation. In the Greek-Italian War, an air raid alarm in Athens has no major consequences. In the Sea War, a German auxiliary cruiser sinks 10 Allied merchant ships in the Pacific. <laughs> 